Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here. And what you're looking at is the inside of a blower motor for my heating and AC system. Okay, so this morning I woke up and I smelt what smelt like kind of a burning smell. Uh, it, it actually had a little bit of a sweet smell to it coming out of the uh, heater vents on the floor. And I noticed that I heard a humming noise coming from the inside of my furnace area. So I decided to go ahead and diagnose it and check it out. Knowing what I know about electricity, capacitors, blower motors, circuitry, and all that other good stuff. So again, the symptoms that I had were a burning smell coming out of the furnace vents and a humming noise coming from inside of the furnace area itself, mainly the blower motor area, all right? Now, it's pretty simple setup that you have here. You have a blower with a motor. It's an, it's an electric motor. You also have what's known as a capacitor, and then you have your circuit board and your circuitry, okay? Now, what a capacitor does is a capacitor charges and stores electricity, energy, however you want to call it, so that the blower motor can have enough power to run. And a lot of times, if you have an issue with your heating and air system with the motor not running, your capacitor is going to be the issue, okay? There's really not much to do to diagnose it, and capacitors only cost in the range of five to $10, so it's pretty easy to uninstall and fix. What you're going to do is you're going to pay attention to the bracket on how it's installed. Go ahead and just take off one end of it and unplug it. Now before you do this, for safety reasons, go ahead and turn off all power to your uh, heating and, and air conditioning system at the circuit breaker. And so here we are at our circuit breaker. So just look at your, at your home circuit breaker. Find which one is for your air conditioning system and turn it off because you can get hurt doing this with electricity. Also, if you're not a professional HVAC guy, which I'm not, I'm actually a professional automotive technician, um, go ahead and turn off all breakers. Shut down the, the power to your, to your out outdoor compressor shut down the power inside of the house as well, okay? And then you can go ahead and remove that capacitor. So now that we've got all power shut down, our safety switch for our unit is out, you can go ahead and, re and remove it. All you have to do is remove one of these screws off of this bracket, unplug it, make sure you remember and mark where your wires go and then pull your capacitor out. Now I've already installed my new one here. This is my old one. Now then, because these store power, with it removed, it could still have a charge on it, okay? So a capacitor this big can still knock you on your butt if you're messing with it wrong. So the best thing to do after you uninstall it in order to discharge the capacitor, take a screwdriver, and touch both the leads just like that okay and so by simply doing that you've discharged your capacitor and now you're good so let's go see if the capacitor is the reason why we have an issue so now with my new capacitor installed I'm gonna go ahead and have my wife turn the system back on. The first thing I'm gonna do is go turn my breakers back on. All right, now let's see if the capacitor fixed our blower motor. Here we go. Just put it in yeah, just turn the blower on. Yay! And there you go, folks. Our blower motor is fixed by simply changing out our capacitor. This cost me all of $6 and about 45 minutes worth of my time to do. It took longer for me to go pick up the capacitor from the store than it did for me to actually repair it. You can go ahead and turn it off now. Now, a few things. Keep in mind, you're messing with electricity here. There's a lot of volts running through here. If you're not careful and if you don't remember to turn off your circuit breakers, you can get hurt. 
Also, remember to discharge your capacitor after you remove it, like I showed you, because it can still shock you real well. So the other thing, um, not everybody sells capacitors to the general public, so you need to find you a wholesale supply store that will sell to the general public. I picked this one up from Platt uh, here in Boise, Idaho. Also Grover's here in Boise, Idaho. If, uh, if you're in my area and you're watching this video, we'll sell them to you as well. But um, if you can't find a supply store in, sound that will, uh, in town that will sell to the general public, just go ahead and find you one on the internet. What to look for when buying your capacitor. Okay, so when you're looking to buy a new capacitor, the numbers that you want to match are going to be these numbers here next to the UF. You're going to want, this is like for me, for example, I got a 7.5 UF 370 volt capacitor, okay? I replaced it though with a larger capacitor. And the capacitor I replaced it with, if you notice, it still says 7.5, but it says 440 volts. So again, the numbers that you want to match up are the 7.5. As far as the volts, it's okay if you put a larger capacitor. This one can handle up to 440 volts. This one is 370 volts. Whatever you do, do not install a capacitor that has less than this number on it. So if you have a 370 volt capacitor, do not install a 300 volt capacitor. You can install a 400 volt capacitor, but not less than this number. So again, you want to match these numbers right here, 7.5 UF, with this number right here, 370 volts. If you can't find one that's exactly 370 volts or whatever number you have, make sure you replace it with one that is larger than this number, but you want this number to remain the same. And again, just for a reminder, this repair cost me all of $6. All right, folks. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me during this video. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, get with me. I love helping you guys out. I also love hearing back from you guys and getting feedback. So look forward to it. All right, guys. Well, I am signing off.